Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn IT with Venkat. Today's video I am going to discuss about how to use Ping Ultrasonic Range Finder to detect the distance of the closest object in front of the sensor. This sensor will detect the object from 3 cm up to 400 cm distance. I am going to use Tinkercad website for this demonstration. We will see how to do it. Go to the tinkercad.com, sign in, use your Gmail account to login into it. So once login, choose circuits and create new circuit. So for this scenario, first I am in need of Arduino board. So search here, we will get an Arduino. I am just putting it here. And next to that, I am in need of breadboard. So just type breadboard here, we will get a breadboard small and fix it here. Next to that, I am in need of ultrasonic sensor. So just type ultrasonic. Here you will get two ultrasonic sensor. I am choosing this one. This is pink ultrasonic sensor. So it is having three pins here. So first one is ground, power and signal. So from the ground I am going to give it to the breadboard negative. And make this as black color. So second is power. So from here I am going to give it to the positive slat. Make this as red color. And the third is the signal pin. So from here I am going to give it to digital pin 7. And make this as for example yellow color. And next to that I am in need of RGP LED. So put it inside the breadboard. So in this RGP I am going to use two colors. One is red and a green for alert purpose. For that I am in need of resistors one for red so put it in the red pin slat and another one is for green put it in the green pin slat and if you look at this rgp is having four legs one is red and second is the cathode and blue and green so second is the cathode which is negative so from here i am giving it to the negative slat and make this as black color and from this red resistors another leg I am going to take it and give it to the pin number 9. Let it be in red color. And for the green, take it from the resistors another leg. And here I am going to give it to the pin number 10. Let it be in green color. So from this negative slat, I am going to give it to the ground of Arduino and change this into black. And from the positive end, I am going to give it to the power, which is here we have 5 volt so let it be red color so connections finished now we have to get the code for this ultrasonic sensor so this sensor is ping ultrasonic range finder so go to google type here ping so you will get ultrasonic sensor for arduino code and here choose this website arduino.cc from this website you could find the code for this ultrasonic pink ultrasonic range finder and if you move down you can see the circuit diagram and followed by the pin diagram and followed by that you will have a code so here just control a control c and here go to code change that into text just click continue control a and paste it so this is the code for this ultrasonic sensor which we have taken it from the website so if you look at this code here is the declaration and initialization of the pin number for this ultrasonic signal which we have used pin number 7 so here they have used the variable pink pin equal to 7 and followed by that i am going to have red equal to red rgp connected with the pin number 9 so here i am going to use 9 and followed by that int green equal to the green color rgp i have connected with the pin number 10 so here green equal to 10 and coming to the setup method here i am going to add the statement pin mode red which is going to act as an output and pin mode green is going to act as an output because this RGP LED, I am going to use it for alert purpose. So it is going to act as an output. 
and coming into the loop method it is going to iterate infinite number of times inside that we are having three variables duration inches and centimeter and followed by that we have a code for triggering this pink sensor as an output and after that we have the code for making this pink sensor as an input so if you look at here pink mode pink pin is going to act as an output and here it is going to act as an input so if it is going to be an output this is going to trigger first so we have to make that to low and then we have to make it high and then we have to off it this is used for making this pink sensor to trigger it and then coming to input once we have declared this pink pin as an input it will start reading the data which is in terms of microsecond that represents the time so that time here we have to store it in the variable duration equal to pulse in is the method of pink pin comma high which will make the sensor to on and start reading the values so after reading the values and stored in duration we have to convert that time into distance because the purpose of this ultrasonic sensor is to calculate the distance between this sensor and to the objects so if any objects is coming closer to this sensor it will calculate the distance of that and it will display it so for that we are in need of inches and centimeter so for that here i have used two functions microseconds to inches and microseconds to centimeters with the parameter this input duration so first this method will be invoked so microseconds to inches so if you go to the method definition here this will receive the value of duration using this parameter microseconds and here that will be converted into inches and it will return back to the variable here inches similarly centimeter equal to microseconds to centimeters of duration this method will be invoked and if you look at this method implementation here that parameter will be received and that will be converted here into centimeter and written back to the invoking statement and that will be stored in the cm variable after that here using the serial monitor that inches printed followed by the tag and centimeter printed followed by the tag cm and uh, function will delay for 100 milliseconds now we will execute it so start simulation so once it start you can see here that green led is on which means it starts working so if you click the serial monitor here you can see the inches and centimeter if you want to visualize it you just click this pink sensor here you will get that range so this is an object which is 44 inch away from this ultrasonic sensor when i move this object closer you can see this inches and centimeter is getting reduced and here it is printing and if you move this object away that inches and centimeter varies so like this you can work with this now stop the simulation now i want to make this alert to work so inside the loop at last i am going to give the condition so if inches is less than or equal to for example 20 inches then i want digital right of red is going to high because that object comes closer so i want that red led to on next digital right of that green led has to low close the bracket and copy these statements and else just paste that one and here that red is going to be low and green has to be high when it is in the safest distance green color has to be on in the rgp now clear the monitor and start execution again so now you can see now that object is 38 inches away from this ultrasonic sensor so which is safest distance so the rgp is in green color now if i move this object closer to this ultrasonic sensor so the reading once it comes under less than 20 which means it alert us that object is coming closer by this red alert in the rgp 
and if i move away it will become green color stop the execution we can add uh, one more alert also using buzzer so just type buzzer and here i am going to connect the buzzer so this is negative so from here i am going to give it to the negative slot and make this as black color and for the positive i am going to give it to the pin number 8 so let it be orange color and i have to write the code for it so here i am going to declare the variable for buzzer equal to 8 and uh, here i am going to copy this and here that buzzer is also going to be an output and followed by that if it is less than 20 i want that buzzer to on so digital write of buzzer comma high just copy this and paste it here if it is in safest distance i want this buzzer is to be off that's it now start the simulation again so it start reading so now the distance is 25 inches if you look at it is in green color no buzzer because it is in the safest distance suppose if i move this closer now you can see this buzzer is on and rgp is in red color and move away now no buzzer and green color like that we can execute the scenario fine so this is used to calculate the distance of that object hope you understand this if you like this video share with your friends and subscribe this channel for getting more video updates bye bye thank you